The Shelly update for Dandy's World adds 4 new tunes and a bunch of new gameplay features. With all these changes, everyone's rankings are all reset. In this video, we're ranking each tune from all the mains down to shrimp. We crown the new best tune and talk about ones that fell from grace. Let's start off with the main characters. Let's start off with Astro, since they're up first. Team-wise, I feel like a team with an Astro it survives like 50% more. I yeah. feel like the Kiter and Astro combo is like Yeah, extremely high stealth too. Yeah, it's really, really good. That too. Don't have to worry about grabbing aggro or anything, so they're perfect for Kiters too. Uh, but speaking of the update, now he fills the entire bar of stamina instead of 50%. So that's also oh, yeah, a big yeah, yeah. boost. That's, that's insane too, yeah. So five star stealth, three star speed. He's like a, um, a mobile soda. I um, think he's a solid A. They're good for team, but solo, I would say they're pretty average. Astro, you go to A. Off to See? Pebble. Pebble. Everybody's favorite main. Not really. Who knows? Definitely the cutest one, though. Yeah, every every single Pebble. person wanted to immediately <laughs> get Pebble, or at least see Pebble. When you first go Big to your shop, eyes. you're like, oh my gosh, look at him! <laughs> it's a dog! Yeah. At first I thought he was a seal. He kind of looks like a seal. I know his active is the sniff ability, which highlights items around him. Is it around it is him so or the useless, entire map? in my opinion. <laughs> Unless if you're I, looking to Im agree. immediately for like a med kit nearby, but other than that, it's really mediocre. And then I, I, I don't like its passive. passive either. Especially since Pebble is considered a kiter. Well, not the greatest. I'm not completely certain that the devs want Pebble as a kiter, but in a lot of people's eyes, Pebble is like the most optimal kiter. That's what people think. Right. And I'd say so too, yeah. Yeah. But with, with the passive, though, it sounds like he's not supposed to be a kiter. <laughs> yeah. it's, it just feels like like th that passive is supposed to be on someone else. I really do like that they get more uh, stamina. When you get one heart, I think it's 245 stamina, which is really nice. But there's not much use other than that. Yeah. Uh, really, the only thing Pebble has going for him right now is his speed. I think I would put him in a B. I was thinking bottom A or middle B, somewhere around there, mm -hmm. but I think we could both agree just on B. Shelly. Definitely my newest and favorite main. She's really mm. fun to play with. Really, the only downgrade for Shelly is uh, their stamina, but she's really fun overall to play with because of her passive ability. And her passive ability is, of course, she gains a movement speed buff for 10 seconds when a machine is completed, which is perfect for the end of the floor. When I'm Shelly, I usually do the last machine just because I have uh, that speed boost and I combine it with the alarm trinket. Do you remember where her active is? Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, this tune can boost the extraction speed of a selected tune by 75% for 15 seconds. 15 seconds 75%. is more than enough for almost every tune to fully complete a machine. I would say pretty balanced average overall. I would probably yeah. put them in a. I, I feel like the biggest a issue tier. though, since they're a main, they have they have two mm. hearts. That's why I think Shelly is in a tier, just because she does have the three star movement speed and the three star stealth, so she won't bother a kiter. Off Shelly, to a, I guess. You go to a. Last but definitely not least, V. This was my main for a very long time. I personally really love V, especially if you know how to play them and work around their two-star movement speed and two-star stealth. That can be a very big deal breaker for a lot of people. It's it's tough out there. It, it is tough out there, but once you get used to it, it's not bad at all. The most impactful thing about V, their abilities. Ah, <gasps> oh, that's right. This tune can highlight all twisteds on the floor for 5 seconds, has a cooldown of 60 seconds. And V also scans no matter if it's a blackout or not, which is great! Definitely is one of Brightney's problems. Seeing machines that are uh, highlighted 
behind walls and stuff is pretty cool. Helps、mm-hmm. uh, for finding out the, the very last machine. I would personally place V at S tier. I was thinking in B tier, like above Pebble. I definitely do think they're a strong S tier because they really make floors go really fast. Even if they can't get a machine, they can communicate with the team where the machine is if they want to go into hiding. But as a solo, it's almost impossible. It's almost impossible to get <laughs> above floor 20. For team play, they're absolutely massive though, yeah. I, I, I think we could agree on like a. On an A tier. Like, they're definitely not S because there there are a lot of like problems with、mm-hmm. them, especially as a solo. Yeah, I would definitely put them in like an, up, an upper A tier. I think we're agreed on A. All right, all right. Off to the starters. The starters. Boxin、Ooh. and Poppy. Let's start off on Boxin. This tune Boxin gains 6% my personal starter. more extraction speed for every tune alive in the round. Max is out at 48%. So that's all eight players alive. Which is crazy good. Right. And if I do remember, I think if all eight players are alive, it's、um, 1.48. V is 1.5. So technically, Boxin can be an honorary V. If you and your team are really good at. Uh, your survival. You would just be a faster V, a V with a lot more、uh, speed yeah, and stealth. Yeah, movement speed, yeah. They're, they're an okay solo tune for sure, but yeah very, very, very average. Okay, for the ranking, I'd put them under Pebble, but still in B tier.、Right? I was just thinking that. Boom! Right off to Poppy. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This ability. Oh man. Panic Pop. This tune receives a 50% speed boost for 3 seconds when attacked. If you get hit, you could move faster, but only when you get hit. And it, only for 3 seconds, too. That's crazy. I was thinking about that. 3 seconds? I would say it, maybe like 7 seconds or something. You know, actually getting away from the tune because 3、yeah. seconds, if you're like in a long haul, you're not gonna get away. They're just gonna chase you again. Yeah, I would. I would personally place them in D tier. Yeah, same. They don't really <laughs> offer much <laughs>、um, to the team at all. I guess we could do Shrimpo. Well, what, what much can we say about Shrimpo, really? Shrimpo is. He's just is, really a, a challenge character. Yeah, quite fun as a challenge, but other than that, they're obviously really bad. But they do have three <laughs> health. So. They do. That is a, that is a plus, I guess. Honestly, I would probably put him below Poppy into the D tier. Below Poppy?、Goes. I was、Shrimpo. thinking above Poppy. <laughs> oh, definitely not. What? <laughs> They're negative 99 stuff. One star in every stat. Speaking of bad characters,、uh, I think we could talk about Razzle and Dazzle. I knew it. I knew you were going to bring him up. See, I kind of have mixed feelings about Raz and Daz. I do want to play with them a little bit more, but I've seen some pretty neat gameplay with them. People who do both extracting and kiting. For people that don't know, they have a passive for odd number floors. They have a, a buff to movement speed, and on even f- numbered floors, they have a buff to extraction speed. But、mm-hmm. on even floors, their movement speed goes down to two star speed. Where does that leave Razzle and Dazzle? I would say C tier because they're, they're still very useful、um, for either or. It just depends on the floor, of course. If it were up to me, it would be D tier, but I, I think nowhere higher than C. I'm like fine with C too. Yeah, definitely a low C. Yeah, right? Plop them into C. All right, there he is. Now, Roger. So, Roger is the tune everyone, well, mostly everyone buys first for that extra research because、um, you get 2% research for every capsule you pick up and 5% for every encountered tune no, on no, the floor. No, no, 10%. It's 5 by default. 10%? And then, yeah, and、What? then it's 10 on Roger. That is a huge boost. Oh my god, I didn't think it was that much. That's、yep. crazy. That bumps him up for me, honestly.、Um, he's also a. Pretty good extractor. But of course, his, his, movement, his speed. movement speed is a two star. Yeah. And just like anything with, with their movement speed, 
if you're not careful on how you're moving around the map, you're easily going to take damage. Definitely. Also, your stamina. You're definitely expending a lot more stamina trying to get around. Yeah. All right. So I, I think Roger just under Roger is a low B tier. Yeah. Of course, the uh, character other people choose when they first start. Toodles. Toodles, yep. Toodles. I think Toodles was my first buy. I'm not really sure what to say for Toodles other than, eh, average. Yeah, They're very average. Like, um, uh, they don't really mess up. A Poppy and Boxen. Yeah, they don't really mess up the team play because of their high stealth. Yeah, slower extraction and their ability is, you know. It's very mediocre. It do it it doesn't really feel too much of a difference in game. Oh, definitely. The only thing that kind of feels like a difference is a speed boost, but you know, of course the the boosts don't really last. Uh, long at all, and I think it's only 15% yeah. per boost. So Where does that I'm put Toodles? Thinking... Honestly, I would say high C tier. Yeah. Above Razzle and Dazzle. And now, um, the starter that a lot of people are picking now, Tisha. Yep. Ooh, Tisha. Tisha They're is really a personal favorite of mine. Yeah. 500 Icor. That's crazy good. 500. Yeah, crazy That's good like, for, um... for their stats. Their stats are insane. 4 star movement speed mm -hmm. for 500 Icor. What? You could start off basically playing as a kiter almost immediately. Their active ability is actually pretty impactful. Crazy! Yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> it could come in clutch if you know how to um, watch out for teammates that are in trouble. Especially the two star ones. <laughs> Roger <laughs> V. Now, I don't know if you guys have played with the full team of Tisha, but if you all boost at the same time, you will go flying at the speed of light. <laughs> Even the yellow light glow. Yeah. Shout out to our other stream. That was really funny. I think A Either a high B or a low A. You want to do A tier? I'm down yeah, for A tier. Just A -tier. because how early you could get them. That's insanely oh, good. I kind of want to do scraps because I did play them uh, quite a bit recently. Now, I think we share the same opinions for scraps. Unfortunately, they are a two star speed character. Really, the only thing they've got going for them is the um, their ability, which is, well, is alright. It they... saves them. The... And wait, their stamina. I was getting to that. What the? They do have 200 I'm only stamina. Now noticing that they have five star stamina i thought five star were yeah reserved for the mains i, I don't know not. i guess they just <laughs> they felt like doing it for scraps but yeah scraps does have the highest stamina in uh the game 200 um that and their ability definitely helps them survive more but their their ability you, you need someone to actually have good communication with you or they might just walk behind the wall and then you're just like stuck in place then you're, you're yeah. like well I, I guess i'm dead <laughs> i guess i'm dead <laughs> I don't know. Scraps isn't really a character I think about, like, that jumps out to me. Yeah, as a solo, they're not great at all other than their stamina. Mm -hmm. uh, for team play, they're quite selfish with their ability. Like, they don't do anything for the team. Just I would honestly very say unfortunate low with C tier. Yeah, very unfortunate on how they're at right now. Please buff Scraps, please, devs. <laughs> it's right. such a shame because she has such a cute design. I really uh, like her little um, thinking, cupcake liner dress. I was thinking under Toodles in C tier. Oh, okay. Because I, I would rank Toodles higher than Scraps. Definitely above Raz and Daz. Tegan. I also don't have much gameplay with Tegan, but from her stats and her abilities, they are pretty crazy. They're basically bright knee, but uh, not with like basically one stealth. They have two stealth, <laughs> which isn't that mm -hmm. bad. It's not the end of the world, but their ability, if you get to a, a high floor, it could be insane. The best way, in my opinion, to play a Tegan is to have diary and either dog plush or running shoes. That way yeah. you don't disturb any any goop that's kiting and you know you still have a, a good amount of speed. Also that is if if you have a goob kiting. Like at the moment, uh mm -hmm. goob might not be the best kiter. Yeah, pebbles yeah. going up there. 
I do think Tegan is pretty, pretty good, especially if you know how to uh, know how to avoid danger. And her ability does come in clutch. Definitely nice to have an extra heart at your disposal. Mm -hmm. Um, where do you no, want to place them? Leave them. I would probably put them in A tier, probably above Tisha, right below Shelly. I was thinking definitely under Tisha, way above Boxton. Maybe like the same I'm gonna do low A -tier? rank as uh, Pebble, or maybe a little bit above Pebble. We can do high B tier. I think that's pretty. Well, I really do think they are A tier, just like really low A tier, so below Tisha. Yeah, I guess. I I'm down for that. All right, Tegan, there you go. The A tier. Let's go with Goob because we did scraps already. Goob. Arguably the most uh, played kiter. Or at least um, before the 2.0 uh, update, mm -hmm. before Shelly got added. Four yeah. star movement speed, four star stamina, and then uh, the rest of the stats don't really matter too much because they're mainly played as a kiter. I don't really have much gameplay experience with Goob. Uh, when I do kite, I do play as Pebble. So this is like primarily you. I need your insight. As a kiter, they're... They were better than Pebble because of their health, mm -hmm. but now with right. V applying slowness. Oh gosh, it's, yeah, uh, the worst. It's pretty tough out there. Their ability also only really comes into play if if you're trying to pull someone out of someone else's kite or into the elevator. So. So like a rare occasion where someone's messing up their routing or at the end of the round. I put them but under Pebble in B tier, above Boxy. I'd agree. I'd agree with that. And then there were two. You want to go with Flutter. Flutter is a kiter that we don't really talk about, but their speed definitely is not as great as Pebbles. Really the only bonus is their ability. It's really great for getting out of tricky situations, you know, if you're being chased by Pebble or if you need to um, get across Raz and Daz's circle because using yeah. your ability won't trigger it. They do have a really short cooldown for it though. At 45, yeah. and then with both of the rehearsal and practice cards, it goes down to 35. So you get it pretty quickly. That is really good. Pretty average. I would say high C tier. I would probably, well, no, I would probably. Maybe above Roger? I don't know. I would know. put them above Goob. Really? Under Pebble. Yes. Even though I was a good Goob main, I, I, I feel like uh, it's no longer the play, really, compared to Flutter. I would probably put him above Boxton, but below yeah, Goob. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely above Boxton, but... I think because Goob has a more giving ability, I place him higher than Flutter. He, they definitely save a lot of people dying from, like, panic timers i'm i'm sure you you know firsthand a lot of people almost die but then goob saves them so that that personally puts them uh one tier higher than flutter i'm down for that middle b tier i just realized we don't have a single s tier uh-oh yeah. it's fine i think we could reshuffle once we get uh brightney right for brightney 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 now brightney. we we described brightney as um we used to. A. We used to have them as S tier. Now Definitely. there's so many others. We did. I remember that. Insane. Because Tegan. Yeah, Brightney went down like a, a good solid amount. Brightney used to be the number one solo tune, but in a team play situation, unless if you know exactly how to hide like almost all the time, and move around the map while hiding. They're just not just viable pretty, for team yeah. situations. If a Twisted sees you, they are locking on across yep. the map. Gosh, I do not miss that. <laughs> um, but Brightney is a, a lower tier of Tegan because they're very similar in uh, gameplay wise. But of course, Tegan has their ability and then two star stealth, which of course that can be fixed if you, uh, if you have diary. Um, but Brightney, Brightney, Brightney. I would still put them in a. Hmm. I was thinking C tier now. With yeah, the, C -tier. With the way things are. It's almost impossible to play with a Brightney in a team. Above scraps or below scraps? I would say above scraps. 
Okay, okay. So let's put them right there. All right. All right. Now we have last decision shuffled out. We should have at mm. least one us tier. I I feel like V can't have that because of almost impossible solo ability. Right. I was Astro thinking Shelly. Almost could be Shelly. I think you need more of, gameplay but, of Shelly. Yeah. She's really fun. As a solo, you She's no longer good. have their active ability, but their passive is is fine. Now we have B, Astro, Shelly, Tisha, and Tegan in A tier. I feel like hmm. Pebble shouldn't be in B tier. I feel like they're A tier. You want to yeah. do above uh, Tisha? Alright, who's still... our single S tier? Who do you think? Hmm. Shrimp. I'm putting him up there. Just Shrimp. kidding. Okay. <laughs> Alright, there we go. <laughs> I don't know. I I mean, I've played Shelly and V a lot, and then of course some Tisha. Those are my three contenders. I just don't know which one though. Dude, honestly- I really do think V is up there. I feel like- I feel like Tisha might be S tier. Because- Tisha? Interesting. Recently, recently, someone has been able to get to the next world record uh, floor number at 64s mm -hmm. with Tisha. And then their teammate was, I think, a pebble. Like, I'm Tisha very 50 is 50 super on cheap. And Tisha. Really insane for team play. Their solo is insane too. You could you could literally solo those high floors if you have enough yeah. patience at least. I'm down to put Tisha you, nest here. Yeah. You could you could escape a pebble Whoop. on their own as well. Crazy stuff. I mean we do a full team of Tisha's next time. Yeah. <laughs> 